Hey everybody, welcome to the Book Nook, where we talk about the awesomeness that is books. Today we are going to talk about the The Sword of Destiny by Andrew Sapkowski. This is the second book in the Witcher series, and it's a lot of action. A lot of action, adventure, dragons, romances, a lot of boob groping in this. Talk of nipples. <laughs> there was a lot of attention paid to boobs in this book that I noticed. I don't know if it was like overkill. Maybe Andrew Sapkowski is just a boob guy. Who knows? <laughs> so this book is another book that kind of has like uh, short stories throughout it and they kind of interlace together and it kind of shows you a bit of Geralt's past, his future, and his present and where they all kind of intermingle like and it it shows some of the story of him and one of his great loves. Also of if if you're familiar with the series or the video games or the TV show of how him and Siri meet and come together and what her future may hold and all of that. It was fun, you know, it's all adventure, it's all action, and it's continuous. It's like jumping in into one extreme event after the other. There was a few of like the stories that I really enjoyed. So I'm a big fan of anything that's like has to do with water. Underwater cities, mermaids, just the the craziness of like what's underwater. Because underwater is like freaking space, dude. There is weird stuff down there. We've barely even scratched the surface of exploring what is below there. And so tie some fantasy element into it. And one of the stories in this that follows the Witcher, there's this just event happens and a bunch of people die and Geralt's hired to figure out what happened, where did these people go, why was there blood everywhere, and uh, no bodies, no bones, nothing. And he discovers there's this, when the tides go out, he discovers that there is this stairway that goes into the waters. He ends up meeting these angry sea people of all different sorts of weird looking <laughs> sea creature people, I guess one might call them. And it was kind of a cool story. I like that one quite a bit. So if you just want like a, a fun action packed adventure, the Witcher series so far has been pretty fun. I think I liked the first one better than this one. Maybe I just didn't enjoy all the stories as much as I did in the first one. But it was still enjoyable, and it's like, the cast of characters is entertaining just to see, like, you know, you have Geralt, the Witcher, and then there's Dandelion, the Bard, and he's such a doofus. <laughs> but you gotta love him, you know? Dandelion, yeah, he does what he does. Because, you know can't help himself. It's just always a fun cast of characters. I don't think there's anything serious about it. So if you want to read like a fantasy series that is, you know, a good time, this series is pretty fun. Although this book, like this, this book for the star rating, I only gave it three stars because it was good, but it wasn't great. It was fun, but it wasn't as fun as the first one I read. So this month, I am not going to get into the next book yet, but uh, David's Book Reviews, who I did a buddy read with this book that we read over the past month, we'll be continuing with Blood of Elves in June. I couldn't do it this month because I'm taking part in Asian Readathon, so I have a bunch of books to read for that. But in June, we're going to continue on with the series, which has been a lot of fun so far. And I think the next book isn't maybe short stories, but it, it could be. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if all of them are like this or not. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. Hi guys, my name is David and thank you so much Sin for having me on your channel. It's a honor to even be here. So reading Sword of Destiny was like having a warm hug and seeing all of your friends again. I was a massive fan of The Last Wish and coming back to this world and coming back to these characters was extremely enjoyable. And seeing how they evolved from book one to book two 
and seeing all these funny and dangerous scenarios that they found themselves in, like dealing with dragons, dealing with all these people that wanted to like kill these monsters, and Geralt was like, well, no, we've got to like think about this. We can't go in with all guns blazing or swords or whatever. And even though I didn't enjoy every single one of these stories, because this is a short story collection, I appreciated every single one of them. Yes, there were ones that I enjoyed more than others, but this is a more of a character development story. It's not all about action and killing all these monsters. It, yes, in a way it is, but it's more of a character-driven story about how we have all these unique characters and how we are going on this journey with them. So I love this book so much, even though it wasn't perfect, but I cannot wait to read the third book, which is the first novel in the Witcher series, which is called The Blood of Elves. So with all that out of the way, let's just go straight back to Sin now. Thank you everyone for joining me in the book nook today. If you had fun hanging out, boop that like button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.